Okay, so we've had another 40 minutes now. It's getting quite late. So I might just give this one more bash of 20 minutes and then I'm going to call this done. So this is the plain water. Whoa, that's nasty. Really, really nasty. I still can't get over how horrible this is. I'm really in two minds about whether I want to try this again. It's really not very nice. Now the flaky. Now the rock salt. Rock salt just doesn't want to stick. the water so this is the vinegar vinegar spray quite like this vinegar spray one it's actually giving quite a good result all right clean salt fine salt rather And the uh, flaky salt. Now the rock salt. vinegar and lastly we go to the ammonia plain salt flaky salt Lastly, the rock salt. Okay, so they've all had another 20 minute fume, so in total. I've had two hours of fuming, although in reality it's probably closer to two and a half hours of fuming. And they're all dry now, so it's uh, the next day. The back row, this is the water. This row here, this row is vinegar. This row here, this row is the ammonia. Rock salt's probably the way to go. Flaky salt is a lot easier to work with if you've got rounded surfaces. Um, if you're doing a flat piece, you're probably going to get a good result from using rock salt. Equally, flaky salt, I wouldn't bother with. 
normal salt that doesn't seem to do that much um, so what I'm going to do I'm going to take these away now I'm going to give them all about five coats of lacquer and uh, we'll see what it looks like after that here are the uh, finished pieces after uh, five coats of lacquer as I've said about They've all had about three light coats and a couple of heavy coats. Uh, so I'll just go through them all. This is the uh, just the water the water box with uh, obviously one the first one is just water and ammonia. Second one, water, fine salt and ammonia fume. Third one, water, flake salt and ammonia fume. Fourth one, water, rock salt and ammonia fume. So here's the first one, uh, we call that number one, so if you've got any questions you can refer back to that. I uh, hope the camera's going to pick this up. Okay. So this one is just water and ammonia. So now the second one, this one is water, fine salt and ammonia fume. The third one is water, flaky salt. And ammonia fume. I like this one. This one looks nice. This is the fourth one. This is water, rock salt, and ammonia fume. Every single one of these samples has had around two to three hours of fuming. They've all had over two hours, but uh, realistically they've probably had around about two and a half to three hours of fuming. I started this at around 9pm and finished at around midnight. Okay, that one's number four. Next we move on to... The vinegar sprays with ammonia fume. This is number five. So this is just plain vinegar with ammonia fume. And some lovely colours on this one. Number six is vinegar with fine salt and the ammonia fume. Number seven is the vinegar, the flaky salt, and the ammonia fume. And number eight is the vinegar, the rock salt, and the ammonia fume.
Number nine is the ammonia spray with ammonia fume. Number 10 is the ammonia, fine salt and ammonia fume. Number 11 is the ammonia spray, flaky salt and the ammonia fume. I actually really like this one. And then lastly, we have number 12, which is the ammonia spray again, the rock salt and the ammonia fume. Again, this is probably one of my favorites too. So there we go, that's the finished result. Uh, it should be worth noting that when uh, when you finish fuming these and you you generally uh, wash off the salt with um, cold water under a gentle stream of water um, and then leave them to dry. When they're wet, the patina is extremely fragile. If you touch it with your fingers or rub it, you'll probably rub the patina off um, as the patina is only surface, you know, surface deep. Uh, once the lacquer's been applied, it's a little bit more hard wearing, um, and obviously you can I can rub it now and touch it, and you know everything's everything's okay. Um, but yeah, I'm actually really really pleased with these results. So next time I do this, as I mentioned before, we'll repeat exactly the same thing over again. Um, only we'll dissolve as much salt as possible uh, into each solution and see if we can speed up the patina process that way and see if, if you know if anything if it gives it a deeper patina uh, later on we'll move on to different patinas we'll go on to different colors we'll go hot and cold patinas and we'll even try some japanese patinas um, so uh, yeah hope you enjoy this video and uh, if you like it please like and subscribe and all that kind of caper um, it all helps um, share it if you think someone might be interested in this and uh, if you do want to know more obviously then leave a message in the comments or just drop me a mail or something and I'd be very happy to uh, um, assist in any way that I can but that's the list that's the uh, they're all the they're the first first batch of 12 patinas um, and eventually I hope to have as many different patinas as possible for for you to look at um so i'll just uh, do a close-up over the whole lot and then we'll we'll call this one done and put it to bed thanks very much guys and girls and uh hopefully we'll see you on the next one
Let me know which one's your favourite. Um, or not. Cool, right, done.